Hey yo, what is up guys? It's Sam back on my channel and listen, hey, today's video I'm actually very excited to make. I've found out I'm really interested in something new that I've never really tried before. It's something I've kind of been scared of my entire life. Um, not majorly, but it's something I wouldn't really consider. And I feel like it's hard to do, especially at my age as well. I mean, you grow a man with a beard and everything like that. And I'm muscles as well. Not to flex, but you know what I mean? So all that is just like, I feel like it's hard to stay in touch with my inner child. But I've, I've been doing a lot more recently um, as far as sort of getting in contact with my inner child because I've been meditating a lot more recently. Um, I recently left my job. I was working in sales. I've been working in sales since September. It's now March, basically. Is it March? Yeah. Yeah, it's March now. Um, I've been working in September. Oh, I've been working in sales since September. And I feel like I've got a lot of experience to progress onto something bigger now. Um, I'm obviously not going to disclose what, but when it becomes a success, I will then bring it into the light. But um, so I'm going to get. I'm obviously going to get back onto YouTube and um, start grafting properly. Uh, and you guys are going to be seeing some better quality content. I know I've said in previous videos, if you guys didn't know, but I am making most, well, the vast majority of these videos for quantity over quality. Just because I've been trying to push and get in the algorithm a little bit. Some of my videos have touched the algorithm a bit. Um, but I feel like if I go on some more platforms now as well, which I'm thinking about doing, um, I wanted to branch out to TikTok and I'm going to start posting on my Instagram as far as sort of like reels and stuff like that. But um, yeah, so I mean, speaking of short form content, to be fair, this new hobby that I have got that you guys have written the tile, tiles down there, I don't know why I pointed up there, what's up there? I don't even know. But anyway, basically, guys, this new hobby that I've got, it really would be good for sort of short form content as well, because I could get plenty of clips. Um, but there's just, I mean, I think it's just one of those things where it's like, it really connects you with your inner child as well as connecting you with sort of the spiritual side of yourself. And it makes the soul happy as well, I believe, because it's something that is purely a natural habit. Um, I can only think of one thing that would kind of almost make it from being less natural, but even then, man, I wouldn't, I would not consider that harmful at all. But um, anyway, so the, the hobby that I've come across now is urban tree climbing. Me and my girlfriend, I mean, I mean, I quit my job literally on the Thursday. It's now the Saturday when I'm making these videos. So it will be the Thursday of last week when you're seeing this on your screen. Um, I quit my job and straight after I went to the gym. And after the gym, me and my girlfriend went to a um, sort of a park. And there's a tree there that's like, it looks like it's just made for climbing. Like it literally looks like it's made for climbing. And as you guys know, obviously, you've seen my climbing vlog and I've been posting some shorts recently of me um, sort of progressing on my dinos because uh, I did recently learn how to dino. Um, I've always been quite a bit dynamic climber, I feel like, because I've got, because I, I wasn't always into parkour before I ever got into sort of bouldering. So I, I think I'm quite dynamic as far as climbing, but I never learned how to actually dino. So... Obviously, I learned that recently, uh, but I've been this climbing for a while now, just on and off. Um, but I feel like urban tree climbing is like the most natural way to do it. I feel like almost the way that you can train parkour in a parkour gym, or you can train flips in like a like a trampoline park, and then eventually take them outside onto concrete. I feel like that's the same thing. I know obviously that you know you do bouldering to go like rock climbing and stuff like that. But I feel like my version, I'm more interested in like doing like learning stuff inside a climbing gym to then take it outside to the trees and do urban tree climbing because i feel like this hobby that i've found now is just so like exciting for me because i feel like it just means it gives me an excuse to spend more time in nature train while i'm in nature because i'm climbing and also it also helped me cure my fears as well i feel like this is something that you know it's harder to do now i'm an, an, an adult because if you see like a full you know a fully grown man with a beard climbing a tree, it does. It almost looks kind of off. You know what I mean? Like I'm, I, I don't really care as much as long as like people I know don't see me and shit. But I feel like I'm gonna get to a point soon where I don't even care about that because I'm, I'm meditating a lot more and it's making me detach a lot more from reality. And I've got a video to make about that later as well, um, as far as sort of detaching from reality, which is something that I'm trying to do a little bit more, guys. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like detaching from reality is probably one of the best things you can do for yourself, but that's for later. Um, but I feel like because 
the reason that I got so into it and I was getting so, I mean, obviously, because I've climbed before, it's like I know sort of what to do when climbing and it, it, that makes it fun because I know how to sort of break down a climb so it's not as scary and also so I know how to progress more in it. So we were climbing this tree that almost looks like it's just meant to meant for climbing and um, I was just breaking it down bit by bit and figuring out what my next move was going to be and I didn't get to exactly where I wanted to get to on the climb but I was happy with my progress. I was like, wow, I think I would in the past be scared of this. So it's like I'm, I'm in nature, I'm training, I'm curing my fears. This hobby is ticking off three of my boxes. And I don't think there's many more that it really needs to tick off for just a hobby that's something to do for a bit of fun. Like, I wouldn't consider... I mean, I guess this is something that you can train. But I just think it's something that I really enjoy while it's also, you know, providing so much to my lifestyle just through the fact that it's helping me be more healthy whilst also providing towards my sort of training as well because if i'm not in the gym i can be climbing a tree that also enhances my strength and less fear when i'm in the gym so but i feel like the best the best way is to do it what i've been told is to because i mean me and my girlfriend we've, we've, we've been interested in sort of climbing trees for a while but we just never got around to it because you know the uk weather shit um but this is something that i wanted to do for a while but not like i didn't i didn't know i was gonna get that into it like i thought after we did it I started watching videos about it and shit. I was like, damn, this is something I need to get into. Um, but nevertheless, we've tried climbing trees before in shoes and we just couldn't do it because of how damp it is outside in the UK at the moment. So what I've been told, what I've, what I've learned online from other urban tree climbers, you should climb barefoot in the trees because obviously if you think back to sort of caveman days, the way we would have climbed would have been barefoot because we wouldn't have been wearing shoes. So our feet are kind of naturally made to be able to help us climb trees, the same way we use our hands as well. Now, another thing what I think we should also use, or if you're, if you're thinking about getting into this hobby, because it's to me, it seems like a fucking sick thing to get into. Urban tree climbing, like, what for someone who's, like, into their spirituality, for someone who's sort of, you know, trying to connect with their inner child as well as trying to make their soul happy, um, and also getting nature whilst training and maybe even being to bouldering as well it's something that you should really want to get into but if you guys know if, if any of you are into climbing or are into parkour you probably know about chalk now chalk is like a white thing that you can put on on your hands obviously you know you know what chalk is even if you are into that but you can use it for climbing and for parkour and it basically just makes your hands a lot more grippy to whatever surface you are gripping um so i feel like when i next go urban tree climbing in nice weather I'm going to do it barefoot, I'm going to get some chalk, apply it to my soles and my palms and my hands, and I'm just going to go home, just find some good climbs to do. Uh, but I feel like that's the best way to do it, with sort of like chalk and barefoot as well. But I, I just wanted to make this video, guys, just to sort of express how like happy I am that I've found this new hobby, because I love finding new things to do. But this, this is something I didn't actually know was like a thing thing. Like, I don't know, obviously it's not like a sport sport, but it kind of is. And I'm kind of gassed about that. Peace out, guys.